So the other day, I got an email from a viewer of the channel who said, I know that bike had a tour pack. So if you don't know, I have a 2021 Ultra Limited here that was born a regular plain black, plain Jane Ultra Limited. Um, bought it a year ago, yeah, I guess. And if since we've done all kinds of stuff to it for fun here on the channel, we did a full ad band black body, you know, stretch bags and all that stuff. And I still have to do a video where I do a parts list. We'll do that some other freaking day because I'm just organized. Um, but dude emails me and says that had a tour pack. Yep, came with a giant king pack with luggage rack on it and the lights on the back and the giant pad and the speakers and the power port and all that stuff. He said, well, what are you doing about that now? Well, I said, well, that king pack I gave to my brother, Captain, same guy who sold me the chopper, I gave him my tour pack. I should have broken it first. Anyway, um, so <laughs> I gave that to Captain. He said, no, no, I mean about putting one on there. So well, I, I got a chopped pack to go on there. And he was like, well, I want to add a tour pack to mine, but I haven't done it. And it might seem simple, but would you kind of show putting the tour pack on the bike? And it kind of raises a point, his, his question about showing that. <clears throat> I've said that people who watch this channel either are like, they think I'm an idiot because they've been building stuff since the 70s, or they're just now getting a wrench on their bikes. That's awesome, both cases. You know, like I, I love to learn from the dudes who have many a year wrenching, and then also I love to help people who are getting into it because I think it connects you to your motorcycle when you do something to it. Nothing wrong with taking it to the dealer, nothing wrong with having an independent shop. I'm not, you know, down on anybody, but I think there's something to putting your hands on your motorcycle. It's also a good way to spot when things are wrong. So if you're there wrenching on it, you'll notice a leak or something that's out of whack and you can take care of it. Anyway, so today we're gonna talk about adding a tour pack uh, and some of the finagles and stuff. It's not hard, but I just wanna talk a little bit about what I've learned taking these on and off the last many a year. So first things first, this is the bike that we're putting on it. My 2021 Ultra Limited putting it on anyway my 2021 ultra limited bought it new it was a right like, like i say a plain plain jane black ultra ultra limited um we did this whole body conversion the fender the stretch tank the lowers had some custom a shop knew the parts i couldn't get the rest are all i've been black so the stretch tank and the dash and the side covers and the bags and the fender and inner fairing and ah, 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 and wheels from coastal moto and da, 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 da. so we're done with the cosmetics now uh, next, we're going to just get the tour pack put on because once you have one, you cannot not have one. It is insane how valuable they are on a day-to-day -day basis. Then we might get into some performance stuff. There's a couple options out there we'll see. Um, I don't know. We'll see how far we go. But anyway, talking about the tour pack. Step one is you need to have the docking hardware in the back. Again, this might be incredibly basic for some of you. Don't get all bent out of shape. I'm trying to help some a couple people who might have these questions. So. This is your docking hardware. Some of you are saying, well, what are these chrome bits? So your docking hardware are the spools that the sort of fork of whatever you're attaching to your bike go over. So it could be your luggage rack, your sissy bar, your, it's not a backrest, it's a sissy bar. Um, you might, you know, those get a little marred up from on and off if you use it a lot, like I do. So these are just magnetic caps. See that? That's from putting stuff on and off the, the spools. These are magnetic caps. You can get these from Harley, you can get them from Amazon, whatever. But if you're running nothing, it just looks nicer than the, the spools that can get a bit marked up. So the rear one has one, front one has two. That's a receiver there and a receiver there. So you can do a combination of things. So what we're doing today is I'm gonna talk a little bit about this docking hardware because there are some intricacies, right? When you first get your bike, if there's no docking hardware on it, uh, which is actually getting rare, comment if, you, if it's just me, but it seems to me when I go to a dealer, every bike on the showroom floor, even brand new, the dealers are just putting docking hardware on there. Like, <clears throat> they just include it. I, I, I think Harley gets, I don't know, 100 and a half, 200 for those. I, I, I should have looked it up, but I didn't. But if you buy the Harley OEM ones, uh, they probably in that 150, 200, 250 range. I don't know, for the two brackets with the spools included. Um, not the only place to get it. I would tell you, I would say stay away from your racks and docking hardware off Amazon. 
there might be some good stuff on there but you're not sure of it. I bought it before. I actually bought docking hardware and a rack off Amazon before. And <laughs> after I got it all to fit, then the rack was loose, it rattled, you know, on the spools. And yes, these spools, just so you know, are sort of, mic you know, slightly ovular. So you can turn them to tighten that stuff up. But I, you know, I just don't want to mess with that. I want stuff that's made right. So you can get a couple different places. You can get it from Harley, you can get the rack from Harley, whatever. Mine are all Advan Black. All my body parts, all that stuff are Advan Black. Even my seat is Advan Black. Um, these are their docking hardware, and I use their rack. Why? Because it's really tight in a good way. <laughs> Too many jokes. When you put stuff on, you have to like push it on, and it locks on, and I like that. I hate rattles. I hate freaking noise. Drive me nuts. So what we're going to do today is we'll talk about all this stuff. Then I'll show you a, trip, a sort of trick that I've learned on the best way to put this on, because... Even a razor pack isn't the lightest thing on earth, and we'll talk about the different sizes too, but these are super, super easy. If it's not already on your bike when you buy it, it's super easy. Um, I'm not gonna take the bag off to show, but there are two bolts right there, right? And when you first get the bike, there's sort of a chrome filler strip in here. That's just sort of a card of sorts, just stuck down in there and screwed in. You take those two bolts out, that filler strip comes out, you have an open slot. These brackets just fall right on in there and then you put the bolt back in and there's your docking hardware installed on your bike that is it nothing to it used to be way more complicated years ago but two bolts take the filler strip out drop the bracket in bolt bolt done the long one goes to the top so you know things happen man i'm just trying to help so the long ones go to the top drop those in bolt them on now we'll talk about the packs themselves and getting them mounted up and that kind of stuff i wish i had more than one size of tour pack to show you the giant mega pack, it's called the King Pack. That is what comes OEM stock on Ultra Limiteds. Ultra Limited, Road Glide Limited, anything that says Limited or Ultra, the size of Tour Pack you're looking on there is a King Pack. May or may not have the, uh, actually they pretty much all have the luggage rack on top now. They all have tail light on them from the factory, I mean. And they're big enough to put a full face helmet inside. That's the sort of the difference. You can fit a full face face helmet inside of a King Pack. Also, the backrest pad that your passenger sits on is a lot bigger on a King Pack. It has wraparounds, little arms that kind of stick off the side, kind of a place to rest your upper arm. That's a King Pack pad. And from the factory, they will typically have speakers on them. If you don't have a factory King Pack, one thing to be aware of is that you're gonna have that big backrest pad and no speaker pods. And, and just, just a preference thing, I think it looks a little silly there's nothing under those armrests and 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 i believe pretty sure comment down below if i'm wrong there is no solution to that if you have a king pack you have to run a king pad i think so you got the little arm sticking out with nothing underneath it and whatever just be aware of that but it is the only tour pack big enough for a full a full face helmet uh next size down from that which is what i run is a chopped pack a chopped pack has the same lid as a king pack but about you know an inch and a half, two inches has been shaved out of it. Just gives it a better streamlined kind of look, and it's just the one I prefer. Also, the pad is smaller. It goes in a chop pad, uh, chop pack, so you don't have the wraparound arms and all that stuff. Um, if you buy a chop pack aftermarket, you can add tail lights and stuff to them, but they come with no lighting, no power, whatever. I kind of like that. Less wires, less plugs, all that kind of stuff. You can add all that stuff. But my preference is to run my chop pack with nothing on it. Uh, down from there is called the razor pack. And those are sometimes affectionately referred to as pizza boxes because they're, they're much smaller than a chop pack. They look cool. They're kind of a very streamlined kind of look, but it's, it's a very small, you know, tour pack. And then they have a bunch of different sizes as far as razor packs. There's some that are, some of you are called pizza boxes when you order because that's how small they are. But anyway, Advan, the where I get my stuff from, they have a king, a chopped, and a razor. So there you go. You decide what size you want. Uh... Again, once you have one, you can't not have it. I'm, I'm telling you what, man. I've got everything in the goddamn kitchen sink in the back of my tour pack all the time. I got tools, I got gloves, I've got, you know, uh, gators in case I'm out someplace that gets cold. I, I may or may not have my half helmet in there. I, you know, it, you can just put all kinds of stuff in there. And, and it's always full. The organization I'm a part of requires paperwork and sometimes stuff we give to the kids and supplies and tour pack is full all the time. It's a good place to keep your first aid kit, that kind of stuff. So 
you get one. <laughs> the funny thing is they're all quick release when you add it. You ain't taking it off. But if you do, one thing I'll show you real quick, you're gonna want one of these. So that is a rack for storing your quick release stuff. You see right here, upside down, I've got my wife's uh, luggage rack and sissy bar off of her CVO hanging upside down. And then on the top, you can put your tour pack. Um, this one, everyone asks about it all the time. This one I got off Amazon and it's not there anymore. But there are a million different ones. They're about a hundred bucks. You can make your own too. I know the Military Biker, go check his channel out. Military Biker, like I think he made his from just like some angle iron and some freaking studded, you know, some threaded uh, 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 rebar. I don't know how you call it. <laughs> it just made some on the wall to hang stuff and his hangs kind of like this way. But this for a hundred bucks looks nice, already painted, came with all the hardware. I kind of feel like that was a good deal. Again, that one's gone, but there are a bunch of other ones, so, you know, go to town. But you're going to want one of these if you ever are going to take your tour pack off, even if not, because you got other quick release stuff put on there. But there you go. So, for me, the sort of trick of putting one of these on is build up from the bike. I've done this where you're in the house with the rack that goes in the bottom of the tour pack, you know, fighting it to hold it still while you're trying to get, you know, it's just four screws that hold the thing on, but... Da, 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 you're, you're fighting the damn thing, then putting the pad on. That is much harder than it has to be. What I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the rack, we're gonna put it on the bike. Then we're gonna take the tour pack, we're gonna set it on the rack, drop the plate in, drop the screws through, done. Then we'll put the pad on it, last, and then we're done. It just, you're a lot less likely to drop the, the, the tour pack and scratch it, all that kind of stuff. So let me go get all the stuff and uh, we'll knock this out real quick. All right, so I put the rack on. Um, Basically, these teeth slide over there, you set her down, and the latches rotate onto the post back there. I mean, that, you know, this is not complicated stuff. That's what I was saying there. We'll put the rack on, then we're gonna set the tour pack onto the rack and bolt that down, then we'll deal with the backrest pad. Um, and again, this this one I'm putting on a chop, uh, chop pack doesn't have lights and a power, I mean, that, we're done after the steps I just described. Um, real quick, I would, wherever you get your stuff from, you all know that I'm Mr. Adman Black, but although, hang on a sec, I don't work for them. <laughs> People say weird stuff all the time. I, I do not work for Adman Black. <laughs> I just am really good friends with the CEO. I like to wrench on my bike. He sends me parts. That's it. That's like the end of the relationship here. So just saying, calm down out there. now. I'm gonna do something real quick. Uh, speaking of the CEO of Evan Black, Evan Black, there's something I, I feel I need to do. If you ever met him or knew him, you would know that he is insane for the details, man. Like, when I was, I, I went to visit him when I was in California uh, about a year ago, I guess it was, and he was showing me a new product and when he opened it, there was a fingerprint on it. And he lost his mind. I mean, I don't mean like in the paint or in the, I mean like, like someone had touched it without a white glove before they put it in a box, lost his mind. And he's like, look at that fingerprint. And I'm like, what, that one? And I went like that, and he goes, you wiped it off. I was gonna take a picture. Like, <laughs> So, hey bud, I know, I'm sure you watch these videos. There you go. That's nice. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Oh, there you go. Actually, there, oh, that now it's getting just right. There you go. He's gonna love this, it's gonna make him happy. And you know what? Not wiping them off. I'm gonna put the tour pack on, on top of the fingerprints. Huh? You like that? I know you liked it. All right. Um, he ain't never send me nothing ever again. So let's throw the box on and get finished. So real quick, how this is gonna go, you know, the rack's on there. I'm going to, got the tools already ready. I'm gonna set the tour pack onto the rack. The plate sets inside the tour pack and then your screws go down through the holes through the rack uh, Allen screws to the top and then some nuts on the bottom for them in the corners. That's it. As you can see, there's a track there so you can, you know, shift her forward about two inches. Well, I'm a man, so what is that, about 19 inches? Something like that, yeah. So you can move it about that far. Um, and then we'll put the pad on and that's it. But that's the assembly. The rack, box goes on the, on the rack, plate goes inside the box, nuts and screws, done. So there you have that. I mean, I drop the screws down through the plate and then uh, make, save your sanity there. Take a nut and a, and a, um, 
and a washer and put this one on first real quick that way it's secure and that's not hard and then you can just go around the four corners but yeah drop the screw you can even just drop one screw if you want but i dropped all four through all four through the holes and then right here through an, uh, one of the washers and nuts on fast so that i don't have to worry about sliding off and hitting the ground if you do this with your bike on a jack or something to be easier but it is not necessary i mean the only problem is on an angle it'll slide but and then what i'm going to do is slide it all the way back the that's nine inches so i'm gonna bring it back about you know 18 inches um on the tracks there and then tighten it down and then some other options we can talk about you can put you know liners and stuff in here that they make you can get it um stitched with red or black or other colors blue and orange i think i don't know but you can you can do all that uh, i don't have a liner for it maybe i'll add one later i'm not sure but uh one last mention real quick for the ceo i know he's watching their fingerprints under there just so you know under this tour pack on that rack covered in fingerprints have a nice day bud okay let's finish this up there you go there you have there you are it's on there cinched up ain't coming off tons of storage space uh last thing we got to do is the um the pad so this is what was included is you know a plain you know vinyl pad that matches you know stock seat or whatever um like that <laughs> but i have the raptor seat which has that checker stitch and the ostrich skin and they do make a checker stitch backers pad so this guy we're gonna put this on real quick that's just three uh three nuts on the back side and we're done so um we'll be complete we'll come back and show you when it's all done and uh there you go and we done um why am i doing it like this the hell's wrong with me hang on i'll show you what i was gonna show you now <laughs> so it's all on here uh there's the the stitched uh sort of check pad to match the check on my seat again that seat's called the raptor i'll see if i can remember to put the link there i like that seat so it's like the same similar seating position as like a stock road glider street glide seat i think it's a little further it's, it, or something's different in the bowl here because it is a better seating position because i actually don't like a stock road glider street glide seat but i like this it's made with different foam and there's gel pad inserts and stuff in it but i digress but anyway so it's the same as the cobra seat that my wife has run for several thousand miles on her bike um but that's the Raptor, and then they have the check uh, pad to go with it if you want. Uh, one thing I want to point out, um, these are interchangeable with OEM stuff. So these latches and hinges and all stuff, these are all Advan Black. But one thing I did do, if anyone's wondering out there, is like I said, this was an ultra limited, so it came with a big-ass King Tour Pack on it. I was able to take the barrel lock out of my stock Tour Pack and swap it. Just two screws. So I took out the lock that was in there. And put in my my harley stock one why would i do that because it's keyed the same now so those latches are for my stock bags and that's for my stock tour pack so my stock key it, it matches my ignition my saddle bags and my tour pack so just little details like that you can just drop an oem lock in there no problem so if you want to go to the dealer i'm sorry i'm getting off on the tangent if you want to go to a dealer if you don't have a tour pack and you, it just irritates you that there would be a separate lock again this comes with a lock and it comes with keys but i just want to mind keep the same you can go to a dealer and you can order that lock with your vin number and it'll come with two keys and the barrel lock you can swap it out and that way your bike will all be keyed the same if you want that so anyway um there she is already put on some miles i'll show you inside how much space again this is a chopped i had a king and you can get a king from them too whatever color you want to match your bike but this is the chopped the, you know the medium size and then also there's the razor which is i don't know about that much short or something like that you know we affectionately refer to as a pizza box but and again you can put a liner in it one nice thing about the liners and i might do that eventually one nice thing about the liners is that things don't rattle around in there because it's made I, what material is it it's very much like almost like a seat cover material stitched it, it looks really nice and you don't see the hardware and all that stuff's hidden but it also stops stuff from vibrating it's that plastic so for example your riding glasses or something if you leave that in there and they flip lens down and they vibrate on that plastic it can scratch the lenses if it's got the liner it won't do that but again off on a friggin tangent sorry about that so um we're done any questions concerns uh how did you do this what colors do they make what colors do they make if it's a solid color most of the damn things they paint these things like 90 colors so you can go on the website find the size you want um 
and then you know add your color to it and it'll come to your house shipped ready to you know painted the match to go on there uh, this color is called hard candy hot rod red flake it's a 17 color off dressers but you know if you've got i don't know red, red sun glow amber whiskey you know kinetic green the brand new reef blue that just came out all that you know they, they got all that stuff you can order a tour pack that color uh, it'll come to match perfect but um that's it now i'll turn it back to my ugly face um let me know you know questions concerns what else you want to see me do we got some little light stuff i gotta do here and there that's been sitting around that i've been neglecting and then we'll see what we do performance wise to this and uh I don't know. Then we got starters in a couple months. And I always find something to break. So that's what will be coming up in videos. But take care of each other out there. We'll talk real soon. Bye.